So, so we all understand that there is a big disconnect between what people say and what they actually think and feel. What Voice Prism does is we provide data that reduces that disconnect and gives information on what they're really thinking and really feeling. Our software can detect frequency pattern changes in the human voice that we can't hear. It eliminates the uncertainty that exists relative to the disconnect between what they're saying and what they're actually thinking or feeling. The old way of doing things is simply uh, listening to what is said or um, analyzing self-report data if it's a market research survey. The new way is getting uh, a data validity quotient as well as uh, emotional content of the people speaking. I can tell you just as the CEO of a rapidly growing company where even though it is a software company, people are by far and away our greatest asset. Um, the ability to gain insights into what's going on inside the, the lives, the hearts, the, the minds of your employees so that you can affect some change on, on their behalf is absolutely critical. I think oftentimes management teams, CEOs say, let's survey our employees. They want to feel good that they've asked people their opinions. And that's great and that feels good. Um, the problem is the insights that you get really aren't all that actionable. All I can tell you is it's the difference between sort of a one-dimensional quantitative read on what you think is on the minds of your people versus a multi-dimensional, vibrant, dynamic understanding of not only what's on their mind but what's on their heart as they're expressing to you what's on their mind. A very big difference. So one of the ways that we can capture uh, information from surveys, this would be for consumer research or for uh, human resources, is via our uh, automated IVR system, that's interactive voice response. Anybody can call from anywhere in the world, an 800 number, and they listen to voice recorded prompts with a human voice, and they're able to leave their verbal responses to the answers to the questions, or use the keypad in order to uh, provide quantitative, closed-ended type information as well. Definitely would purchase. We get the results in, of the audio files and we run them through our engine and are able to produce the output that would show the various emotions that are going on during the responses to those questions as well as whatever other quantitative information they may have provided in the survey. So, so what we have here is an example of how our customers might see our output when they have longer recorded interviews. So this is a constant measure over the time that she's talking about how reliable the statements are. So she's reliable in her statements from when she says it wouldn't work for me and then after that uh, tries to say well it might work and the statements come down into the questionable area or not reliable. So we really wanted a solution if we were going to commit the resources is to find something that we could really trust the data and get some insights from it. I mean I have surveys in the past. I mean we send out email surveys right now and there's questions like you know did you have a good experience yes or no. I can't really do anything with that. So part of it was we really wanted to dig into the emotions behind what people were thinking about when it came to the dental care and what's important to them. Using this information and really finding out what's important to people and what's not important to people can help you tailor whether it's your marketing, how you train your employees. I guess I wasn't really prepared for the depth that it was going to come out. I was pretty wowed by it. One of our platforms for collecting information is called Voice Insights. And that exists on a regular uh, PC with a microphone hooked up to it. So you can see here that we have a number of different uh, surveys loaded on this particular computer. So at this point it gives instructions, which were also included at the beginning of the survey, that uh, I need to hold down the space bar and speak into the microphone. So when I hold down the space bar, I'm a big fan of Company One. They always give great service and that is why I'm extremely favorable and will continue to be a customer in the future. It uh, comes back to me with a green box that lets me know that I've, my voice has been recorded uh, successfully and that the software was able to process the results in order to get at the emotions that will then uh, be shown in the output. So this particular chart lists all the questions that were asked in the survey and then red would indicate extreme stress and yellow mild stress, green no stress. Uh, rank ordered from the least stressful issues down to the most stressful issues that existed on this particular survey. At the end of the day, your goal is always to have the best understanding of your employees, your customers, your vendors, and what we're able to do is provide additional information in a way that wasn't before possible.